Good evening, myself and Post. It is Saturday, March Road, the 10th of March, where 2012, that's the year it is. And, well, last night I went to Will's. But before I went to Will's, I came here to get my external hard drive. I'm like, yeah, I'll get my hard drive, that's all good. Then, we got a drink from this fridge. I put my hard drive down here, forgot about it, and then we were on our way. By the time I got to his place, I forgot that I needed it. Um, so, we went the night without it. And then I didn't know where it was when I got back today. And I'm like, shit, where'd it go? Then I'm like, okay, yeah, it's at the bar. So, you know, go to the bar, grab a thing, and then walk off. I walk upstairs, and then I do something. I'm not really sure what the thing was. Um, rendering the hard drive lost again. This time it was a bit more severe, because I actually have no idea where it is. The question is, however... How does one lose something of such massive proportion in such a little time? Within the course of around five seconds, I seem to have misplaced something that I had in my hands prior to me losing it, which is generally the concept implied by losing stuff. <laughs> I'm legitimately so confused right now. Where the hell could I have possibly placed that item? Um, I've checked at basically everywhere I've gone today, and then it's... Okay, what? What the hell is it doing there? I have a feeling I wasn't really quite with it when I placed it there. I'm like, okay, I'll get some... I'll, I'll get it, and then I'll go upstairs. And I'll put it on the stairs. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Okay, so the story technology-wise is I've been slaving over this PC for a fair while now. But I thought it might be time for an upgrade, so I finally made the decision to make the switch over to Mac. Um, what I've got here is the iMac G1 to G3. Not exactly sure which one this actually is. No, not really. Still using PC. Thought this might be kind of interesting to own though. Borrowed it from Kishana. Hey Kishana, how you doing? Um, yeah, not particularly impressive of a machine. It's got, oh, I think it's 40 gig um, memory and well, internal memory, and then you've got a, a, a whopping 512 meg RAM that is available to this beast. Um, so now I've got to find a jug plug, and I'm going to see if it works. Can I try to plug that bitch in? Okay, found a jug plug, going to turn it on at the wall. Prior to the G5 IMAX, they didn't place their power buttons in some retarded position in the back. They put it conveniently on the front. Oh, it lights up. It li Whoa! It made the cool Mac noise. Carlos, did you hear the cool Mac noise? No. Oh, it went... <laughs> Oh look, there's a there's a Happy Mac in the middle. Hello Mac. Oh, Mac OS 9. I'm probably gonna try to find a disc containing um, OS X Tiger because that'd be cool. But this is actually kind of cool, just like the really old Macintosh system, like one of the original iMacs. Um, your computer did not sh shut down properly. Possibly because it hasn't been turned on in like 10 years. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna need a mouse. You can use Windows mice on Macs, right? Uh... I wouldn't be surprised if you can't because Apple likes to do this thing where they suck. Oh my god, yes. Windows mouse mice work on this. Sweet. It's not a Windows mouse. Done. Mac. It's a non-Mac mouse. It's a generic mouse. You're a generic dick. No, I'm special. Okay, so it's all going. Got the standard kind of checker, uh, wavy background in there. Let's see. So, if we go up to this, about this computer. Okay, so it's running OS 9. Let's see. Built-in memory, 32 megabytes. Yes. Also, something I found amusing was when you first turn it on, this is the first thing that comes up. Microsoft Internet Explorer. I'm pretty sure this was back when uh, Safari didn't exist. Which is a long ass time ago, fool!